Hello and welcome to our lesson two of module three, properties of dilations today. Um, we are on page seven to start off and we are gonna do just the introduction to dilating today using a ruler um, and our calculators. So the first main point is that dilations map lines to lines. Um, so what we wanna do here is we are going to dilate uh, line L by a scale factor of 2, let's say, here. Um, so here's line L. Um, oh, and I should say th um, through, this is important, center O. Okay, so Here's our center point, we're gonna dilate this line. Now what that means through center O is that um, it's like we have a little flashlight here and this is the point of the flashlight of origin and it's gonna flash out and it's gonna um, like dilate the line outward like this, kind of like the Batman symbol. Um, so I'm just gonna draw my little flashlight right here so that we remember that, that that's what we're talking about. Okay, so what you do then, in order to dilate is you start by making some, I'm going to make some dotted lines here in red through O to P here. And we're going to go through it a little farther than we have to, actually quite a bit farther just in case um, we have to go really far in the end. And then we're going to do the same thing with Q. Okay, and we're gonna use these as our dilation lines, as our, as our guide. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we have to find the original distance here between O and P and O and Q. So if you measure in centimeters, our original distance, um, O to P is 2.5 centimeters, and O to Q is about, oh, let's say 3.8 centimeters. Now to dilate it by a scale factor of two, that means we're gonna multiply this, these distances by two. So for OP, 2.5 times two um, is five centimeters for OP prime. Um, and so we'll start with that. So you'll start at O with your ruler at zero at O, and we're gonna measure out five centimeters on our dotted line, and we're gonna make a new dot we're going to label that P prime. And then we're going to do the same over here. So 3.8 was our original for O to Q times 2 now. That's going to give us 7.6 centimeters for O Q prime. So again, we'll start at the center point. We're going to measure out 7.6 centimeters on our dotted line, we'll make a new point, that's Q prime, and that's our dilation of the two points, and we'll use those two points now to draw a new line L. Guess what? We have dilated line L, um, and if you now measure in the middle, the original P to Q, if you measure there, is about 4.8 centimeters, guess what? You measure out here now, what do we get? Nine, and mine's not completely accurate, but I got 9.6 centimeters. So guess what, 4.8 times two equals 9.6. Hey, guess what, we did the dilation correctly. Um, our scale factor of two worked for that as well. Okay, so that's the introduction, um, lines to lines. The next part is a little more complicated. So if you turn the page over, um, for the sake of time, we're gonna skip example three, but we're gonna move on to this exercise here that's got um, a triangle on it. And this is where we're going for the rest of the chapter. So this one we're gonna dilate by a scale factor of three, um, starting at point O. So we're gonna do the same thing um, by making our dilation lines, our dotted lines, through each of the points here. And 
again, that point, that center point is like where you would start your flashlight and then those lights just beam outwards and kind of just expand as you go. It's the same idea here with dilation. Um, so here's our dotted lines. This is what we're going to use to guide us in our dilation of this shape. Um, again, the steps are the same. We're going to start by measuring each line here. And I'm going to round um, just for the sake of, of ease here. So this is about 3.5 centimeters from O to C. O to B is about 4 centimeters. And finally, O to A is about 3 centimeters. Okay, and we want to dilate it by a scale factor of 3. So we're going to multiply each of these by 3 to get our new points. So 3.5 times 3 is going to give us 10.5. 4 times 3 is going to give us 12. And 3 times 3 will give us 9. So we've got to measure out from that point O those distances now. So my new C is that C prime is going to be here at 10.5. Um, B prime is going to be out here at 12. And then A prime is going to be out at, at 9 centimeters. Oops. Um, so about right here. And then we reconnect those dots. And it looks pretty cool when we get to the end of this. It almost looks 3D um, because of our dotted lines there. But this is an exact dilation of our original triangle when we complete this. And there you go. You've got your original here and you've got your larger one here. Um, so the idea is that this now is three times larger than this and all the links are three times larger um, and so is the, the size of this. Um, so, were the dilated images the, of our segments still images? Yes, our segments still remain segments. And then the next question to go along with that um, here, if we measured our all of our lines like AB to AB prime, um, AB prime is three times longer than AB because the scale factor is three. So that will always happen. Your scale factor is gonna be how many times longer or shorter um, your images. We're gonna cross out C for the sake of time here and E. And the last little point I'm gonna show you is it says measure our angles here. What do you notice? So um, I'm going to tell you this, that this angle right here is 110 degrees. Um, so if we know that angle, we actually know this one as well. You would think it would, you would divide by three, but no, these are going to be the same. Okay, so angle measure is preserved on all of these dilations. So if you measure the angles, they are the same for corresponding angles. So A will be the same as A prime, B will be the same as B prime, and C will be the same as C prime, okay? And those are the main points of the lesson. Uh, we went really fast here on this today. If you need help, please come and see me. The assignment today um, is actually uh, an exit ticket, which you, you're going to have to get from me or download underneath this video. It says Lesson 2, Properties of Dilations. Okay.